welcome back to The Zack and Buzz Review! That was kind of a bit... It was a bit late, right? You stink of dragon. Anyway, anyway, so it's Hot D! House of the Dragon, Series 2, Episode 4. What was it called? The Dragon, the Red Dragon and the Gold. The Red Dragon and the Gold, there you go. Yeah. Ooh! Unless my eyes deceived me when I was looking at what Things was are doing. hotting up, really. <laughs> like, you know, like dragon fire. Well, you say that. For, okay, so... My problem with previous two episodes, I would say, two, three episodes, I know where you're going to go. Was they felt a bit kind of fillery. That nothing yeah. quite good enough was really happening to really push the story on, yes, to right. kind of push it towards a conclusion towards the end. Yes. But this, one. Uh, this, this actually, for about the first half of it. I would say the first half because we watched it in two parts. We did, actually. We watched it in two parts, uh, simply out of. Well, coincidence. Coincidence. Something happened and we had to turn it off. Mm-hmm. And that's where we left it. It was yeah. getting a bit kind of like that. And my thoughts on the programme at that point were it's okay, I'll watch the last 26 minutes yeah. when I get home. Uh, but uh, as. At that time, it was very much fillery. It was yes. doing into the Damon stuff with Harren Hall, and but, stuff wasn't really going anywhere. But we got home. We got home. And we watched the last 26 minutes, and everything yes. happened. Excellent! And everything happened. And it was great fun, to the point of when it finished, it's like, no! Yeah, we want cliffhanger. To keep, cliffhanger, we want to keep going. Next episode, please. Yeah, uh, it was great. We saw dragons, we yes. saw fighting, we saw fires, we saw armies, we saw some very dodgy tactics that we were going, really? Arnold uh, Rimmer moment just there. Yes, Let's attack <laughs> across the minefield in daylight. Yes, it, they mean, will not expect it. They won't expect it. It's, it's, you know, just... Well, even the dragon. <laughs> I mean, I couldn't believe the dragon. I mean, they've, they've got the forest. Yep. They've got the open land running to the little castle. Yep. Yep. All the troops are from the cover of the forest are coming towards the castle. Mm-hmm. So where's the dragon come from? Behind the castle. You know, you'd think you'd just do one loop round, set fire to the to, well, to, to the that forest, was the thing. and then Originally, incinerate them. Rainier, all um, Rainiera was gonna send. She was gonna go. She was yep. gonna go there and deal with it all. Yep. But as it turned out, it was a big kind of trap it was a trap that didn't necessarily go the way one wanted or did Did it it. because obviously Aemon and Vagar were hiding and he kind of took the opportunity to attack Aegon and Sunfire with Maelys and Rhaenys fighting each other oh that's confusing right yeah (laughs) he left it didn't it yeah. For, them, for them to have a go, because Aegon shouldn't have been there. No, he kind of... He got a bit peed off that he's being told not to... Do get, nothing. Do nothing, be That's king, the best thing be you king, can do. do nothing, learn off your peers. Yeah. You're too young, for, and then you got, you're going to stomp and put his armour on, and off you went. And I believe by the end, because he's dragon crashed out into the forest... Sunfire's gone. And uh, what's the other one's name? Maylise is gone. No, 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 the, 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 Mr. Eyepatch. Aemond. Aemond. So Aemond, he picked up the knife that of the king yeah. and walked off with it. Mm. So I'm assuming that means that he's dead. Yeah, I think a- Aegon is, is gone. You know, <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Big di- this was a big deal. <laughs> and of course, Maelise yeah. and... Oh, blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Ray, ray, the Rain, queen yeah. that never was. Yeah, that one. But the queen who never was. Rainy. Yeah, we'll, we'll go with that. The queen that never was. <laughs> They've obviously tronked into the castle. Rainies. Rainies. Rainies and Maylie. Smashed into the castle after... Well, but I mean, Vega again goes for the underchomp. Yeah, we thought it was going to be kind of your... Uh, your um, oh, what's the blue creature? Cat creatures. Uh, have that, Avatar. That's it. Have, like, death from above. Yeah. But no, well, he, that was the, that was the look. up from underneath. It was the, oh, I'm looking around. I'm I can't see around. the biggest dragon in the freaking... Oops. World. Oopsie daisy. Straight from underneath. Okay, I better go home. Ooh, nom. Yeah. <laughs> Nearly bites his head off. Um, <laughs> and then you know what? She's just like, you know what? I Screw it. Know it. <laughs> I accept my fate. Yes. <laughs> uh, and then, of course, that breaches the castle. Yeah. And then you go to the troops. <sighs> for what it's worth. Two dragons down. One episode. Uh, you got uh, old uh, matey boy, the uh, gold cloak. Who? Kristen Cole. 
Christian Cole, whose hair always... Christian Cole. Christian Cole. Not Christian. Christian Cole. Who's... <gasps> Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! <laughs> Christian Cole. Christian Cole. Well, it's a different character. But his his hair keeps changing all the time. That, yeah. Which is a bit annoying. This is what you teach, Cole. Um, it's kind of like... Yeah, it's like, like, why? His hair's like, like that one day. He, but he's definitely one of those characters, like, you love to hate. Yes. Don't you think? He's kind of... Not not as bad as like Joffrey or anything. No, it's not as bad as Joffrey, and it's not as bad as the Kingslayer in the original uh, game. Oh, Jamie, Jamie Lannister. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, he's kind of weird because at certain times you kind of like feel for him. Yeah. And then next well, week you really don't like or him. Or I did, I did in the first season, but yeah. now I just absolutely hate him. I mean, obviously, he and Aemon had a good plan set. set yeah. There. I think. But Aemon... was Aemon kind of because Cole was like really shocked that. Yeah. It's like, oh no, my plan's gone to... Gone to rack and ruin. Rack and ruin, and basically yeah. my king's dead, I have failed him. Yeah, but... I, I'm his hand. Yeah, I'm the hand, and the king's dead. Whereas I think... Eamon is Eamon's like, like... Yeah, it's all going well for me. I think, yeah, this uh, this was got, kind of his plan. He's got his he wanted own. to provoke yeah, this. I, do you know, I can honestly say that I feel we're going to have a fight. I think what's going to happen is Doctor Who, okay, he's going to leave Harren Hall. Matt Smith. Matt Smith. Damon. He's going to have a... Aerial battle with uh, Eamon, is it? Eamon. Is it Damon and Eamon? Damon and Eamon. <laughs> no wonder I can't remember the names. He, he's gonna. <laughs> Rhaenys, yeah, He's going to have Eamon, an Damon. aerial battle with him and Vhagar. And what, what, what's Damon's dragon? I have no idea. It's the, it's the, it's, it's the skinny legged one. No, it's Craxis. Craxis. It's got, Craxis. The, it's got the real skinny, funny legs. Yeah. So they're going to have a sky battle. and A that, sky battle? Sky battle. And it's a battle in the sky. It's a sky battle. It's a thunder battle. <laughs> it's a dragon battle. And, and so, and again, Vagar, well, who's getting a lot of holes in his wings, by the way, is, yeah. is going is to kill his dragon. Uh-huh. Okay. And that's what's going to then get Doctor Who to... De- oh, Damon. Uh, Damon. To go to the one that's still under Dragonstone. Vermithor. The big one. The cannibal. And that was, and he's going to like, because he did face it, didn't yes, he? Yes, the end of season one. He I mean, come on. It, and it's like, we thought you were going to come get on. We thought you were going to get that dragon. Where is it? He's going to be forced. Forced. Out of humiliation, because he, he doesn't like to lose. No. He's going to get forced out of humiliation to get that dragon. And that's when we're going to get the big dragon off aren't the, we the big dragon the big dragon off you're going to get the two big dragons having this mass battle yeah. maybe we'll have some small dragons thrown in there as well but that's where I'm seeing it going mega dragon battle yeah this is kind of like the kaijus of hot D and... oh. <laughs> yeah bring out Vermithor uh, so this this episode was that's smart was you know the tumultuous s- samey and then suddenly ramped Boom. up the action it was like, <laughs> which it was like I bet everybody eh, yay everybody watching was going yes this is what we've been waiting for yeah kind of uh, shocking but awesome at the same time yeah and I thought the props <laughs> department did a good uh, they a, love their dead bodies don't they they love the dead bodies they had that one which uh, dead horse as well <laughs> Kristen Cole touched on the shoulder and it fell apart. You know, that was quite cool. Which was like pretty cool. I mean, you kind of knew that that, that was going to kind of happen. Kind of, yeah, um, but still. And obviously you had the bit with Kristen Cole going around decapitating all the lords and things. Yeah, and you had... It's kind of like, oh no, you know, he's become a bit ruthless. And you kind of noticed a lot of the uh, supporting artists were there with a lot of um, uh, prosthetics from the burns and everything. You know, yeah. I think uh, yeah. they're spending good amount of money and, and doing a quality mm. job on I think this. I think this series is in a healthy condition. Yeah, it's very at the healthy. Moment, I think it's which good. is great. The fandom is like great for it, and it's everyone wants it. Yeah, I have I haven't seen a single like criticism of House of the Dragon, yep. like even since season one, uh, which is exciting. Interesting enough, I think she put that moment of doubt into the uh, the, the Queen Mother, yeah, um, because she's now looking for her husband's books that a- 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 Aemon, Aegon. Aegon had removed, because I think she's thinking about that story of the, the Song fire, of Ice and Fire. Fire, Ice of Fire, and thinking she wants to find out more about that. Yeah. Something's been put into her head. Mm-hmm. And uh, so maybe, um, you know, their little meeting they had in the temple mm. might, you know. Have, what have, resonated a bit more than, the, the, um, than it did Rhaenyra seem actually to. thinks. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. I don't think that Alicent's really going to have much sway over Aemond if he's suddenly king. Well, if the king is dead. Who's next in line? Because his son has been beheaded. Topped. Yeah. So, and if they're not going to go for a female, 
Well, I doubt that. That that's only leaves Eamon, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, but it would be Eamon to buy you for. To step up. So, uh, yeah, interesting stuff. So there we go. So that's this week's mm. episode of Hot D, and it's hotting up, and we loved it. What would you rate it out of ten? Uh, again, I'm thinking this is going... It's, it's progressively getting better. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm excited for the next it episode. It hasn't been bad, mm. but it's been getting better. Uh, yes. So again, I'm going to come back in there with... Uh, it was a slow start, Pete. I'm going for 7.5. 7.5? 7.5. Um, you know what? It's still got more. It's got a lot more it's got to go, you know? I am inclined to agree with you because, again, for the most part, I was kind of in the mindset of this is just going to be another filler. But then it picked up towards the end. It yeah. left me wanting more, yeah. which is good. But having a good last... 20 minutes doesn't really cover the previous 40 that I've just watched. Watch, but it made it make <laughs> it leaves you feeling on a high. Mm. And that's, yeah. that's, that's, that's how good. I like a show to, d- yeah. to go. Because yeah. it's not like we can watch the next episode or anything. We have to wait. Yeah, and I love that. Yes, Thank you very exactly. much. Thank exactly. you very much for doing that. Uh, I much prefer that than this cramming, whatever they call binge it. Watching. Binge watching. Da, da, da. Da, da, binge watching. Binge yeah. watching. Anyway, so there you go. Do you agree with us? Is it yeah. a 7.4? Did you say 7.5? I said 7.5. Do you agree well. 7.5? Do you think that's a good enough score? You know? Are we talking complete nonsense? Please, please let us know in the comments. in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this review, please like and subscribe to this channel and comment below any suggestions of further reviews you'd, you'd like, like to see. see. Catch you in the next one, guys.